Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Fishing Potato. So today's video is going to be slightly different. It's going to be a tackle talk, I guess. Today's topic is going to be my lures. So what lures I like to use, what lures I like to bring when I go fishing. So I'm going to go by categories of uh, top water, minnows, uh, top waters and sinking lures uh, basically. So we're going to start off with top waters. So this is an unbiased video, okay? It's not sponsored or anything. So I'm going to tell you all what I like to use and not what like what people like ask me to use or what not. Uh. So my favorite top water lure until today, uh, okay, is going to be the duo pencils. Okay, so I own the 130 and the 85. So this is my 130. It's, it's a really big dual pencil. It's 130. And this is my 85. So the reason I like the dual pencils, right, is this clicking sound, if you can hear it. This is the 85. The 130 as well. You can hear it more clearly. So the reason why I really really like the dual pencils is it can cast really well. The 85 casts really really well. And it's a really small lure. It's about I think it's about 13 or 12 grams only. The 130 is uh, 31 grams, 32 grams. And it casts really well as well. It doesn't tumble a lot. But I've heard the 110 actually casts better than the 130 because the 110 is more aerodynamic I guess. So the action is very simple. It goes left and right. It has a really wide left and right. Left and right. So every time it goes left and right, it will, it will click like tick tock. So you can imagine, uh, I caught plenty of fishes on this. I actually caught my personal best Toman on the Duo Pencil 85. In this exact 85. Okay. So this is the normal type of walk to dog where the action is side to side. It's not those splash splash type, it's the very smooth type of movement. So it goes left, right, left, right, okay. So I'm not, and now I'm going to talk about the splashing type. So my favorite one for like those splashing type of walk the dog uh, is the Rapala walk and roll. Okay, I've owned this lure for a while now, maybe a bit more than two months about that. This is the furthest casting lure I've ever used till today. No joke. It can cast super far. If I compare with Surface Cruiser, right, this has slightly more distance in my opinion. Uh, and the action is nicer. Surface Cruiser from Usury, the side to side isn't very obvious. It just splash, 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 splash. I mean, it's nearer than it goes more widely, like splash, splash, splash. This one from the start already, from a far distance, it can go that's what I like about it. Uh. It's uh, 28 grams. It's a small rattle. I enjoy this a lot. Okay, so these three are my go to top waters when I go fishing. I'm not a very big popper fan, so I'm not including any poppers. I'm just gonna talk about walker dogs. Okay, now for sinking lures. Okay, uh, wait, one more for top, uh, top water lures is my frog. I'll always bring a frog along to with me whenever I go fishing. This is the Spro uh, Bronze Eye Frog. It's really good, casts really well, and it's it's nice. Uh. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's just a frog, I guess. So for sinking stuff, uh, I'm going to talk about sinking pencils. I never leave the house without having a sinking pencil with me. So my go-to sinking pencils are the Surinaya sinking pencil and the Nobi sinking pencil. These are not any branded singing pencils, okay? These are AliExpress singing pencils, but I find these are the most effective and the most worth it. Because singing pencils, you lose a lot of them, and I don't want to spend like $15 on a singing pencil if I'm going to sunk coat like three a day. I prefer the Nobi. It's 33 grams. The flutter is actually very nice. It's very slow, and it goes down really slowly. So my go-to singing pencil for Timing fry right is actually the Nobi because it flutters slowly and it stays in the strike zone longer. But for Toman fry, my preferred one is the Surinoya because it sinks faster, the flutter is faster as well. It goes all the way down. So yeah, 
that's singing mensos. Uh, by the way, these cast really well. This is 28 grams. This is 33 grams. Both of them flutter very nicely and they cost seven eight dollars about there online so yeah that's singing pencils now going to minos okay so minos i have uh four minos with me on all size ranges so if you're if i'm gonna be fishing like medium setup i'll use my uh red level mino or my uh aima sasuke 120 suspending this is about 14 grams it casts really well the straight crank is really very nice it's a very tight wobble and you twitch it right, it goes left and right really well. Then for the Sasuke, same thing, just cast and crank only. The side to side is more unique. It goes, um, how do I say it? I, I can't really show it to you. Like, yeah, it's it's a very complicated action, but it's very, very nice. And the casting is amazing on these two as well. So these are the slightly lighter weight minnows. So yeah, this is about 14, I think this is about 8 or 15 it's not very heavy uh, these two so for slightly heavier you know i'm gonna talk about the uh, uh, rapala max wrap okay i just got this little only and i haven't caught any fish on it but then i i use it every session there's a reason for that it casts really well and the thing that i was very very surprised by this right this is not not like biased or anything okay i'm just gonna talk from my heart when you twitch it right the 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 darting of left and right right is so amazing usually when you use a normal like example a level you know when you dart when you twitch two times it'll go like to, to something like that it's very little this thing is like an underwater walk the dog man it literally goes like it, the the distance when you twitch each time is insane it twitches so well and it's an awesome jerk bait then now for small minnows, okay, I, I'm not sure how heavy this is. This is the uh, Max Rep Long Cast Minnow from Rapala, okay. Uh, my favorite small minnow as of now is actually the Rapala Countdown Elite, okay. It's 10 grams. It casts so well. The flutter is so nice. The straight crank is just amazing and when you twitch it, it's awesome. How I like to work this is basically just a twitch twitch and pause and the pause is not very long, okay? it's, just a, it's just a continuous motion so like twitch twitch, twitch twitch, twitch twitch, something like that lah, if I'm gonna be fishing. That's how I use all my minnows except for the Sasuke, the Sasuke most of the time I just straight crank because it's nicer when it's straight crank but you can twitch it as well. I've caught fish while twitching the Sasuke before. So yeah, those are my go-to lures that I bring whenever I'm going fishing. And the lure that I use the most, okay, when I'm fishing normally is actually either my uh, uh, Countdown Elite, Level Mino. Level Mino, I haven't brought this out in quite some time, but I really enjoy this lure as well. Because right now I've been trying to uh, get some CR on this. And so far, this, I actually love it. Like it's so good, the action is just amazing. But whenever I'm playing top waters, uh, my go-to would uh, always be like the 130 or my walk and roll for bigger stuff. Then when I want to target like smaller fishes like arowana or like just for fun peacock or this, I just go with my 85, my dual pencil 85. So yeah, uh, that's it for today. Just a very quick video on what tackle I use. Uh, my Instagram link will be in the description. Then the link to buy the Surinoya and the Nobi singing pencils will be in the description as well. So these are from AliExpress. So you can order them online, okay? Um, just, uh, by the way, follow me on Instagram because uh, I'll be talking a lot there and a lot of my stuff, like I'll be announcing a lot of stuff there as well. Okay? Uh, I hope you all like this video. It's something different, something short. Uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Okay, bye-bye.